Land Rover, we have and always will strive to produce cleaner, more efficient engines. Petrol, diesel and plug-in hybrid. But for the next decade at least, petrol and diesel engines will continue to play an important role in powering the cars we drive. While we push towards an even lower emissions future via hybrid and even newer technologies, petrol and diesel engines still offer the majority of drivers the most practical choice today. And we will continue to invest in petrol and diesel for years to come until the infrastructure is in place for a greater volume of electric vehicles. Of course, the modern petrol and diesel engines are entirely different propositions from what they were a decade ago. Cleaner, more efficient, while delivering even greater performance. So while we've reinvented and refined our engine technology, there's still one problem. Which one should you choose? I thought it was important to help you make an informed choice today and to reassure you that whichever Land Rover you go with, you can drive one with a clear conscience. In recent months, there's been a continuing debate about diesel and its effect on air quality. Indeed, this has led to confusion where there needs to be clarity. The diesel engines that have been demonised in the press and penalised by the government represent older technologies. All new Land Rover diesel and petrol engines meet the latest stringent Euro 6 regulations, aimed at making cars more environmentally friendly by limiting their exhaust emissions. They are even exempt from the ultra-low emission zone charge proposed by Transport for London. Let me stress, no one in the automotive industry thinks pollution is a good thing. No one wants people's quality of life and health affected by simply breathing. Remember, we are you. We breathe the same air and so do our children, our families and our neighbours. There are two things we tend to address wrongly in isolation. Global warming and air quality. It's different things that impact air quality and global warming. To simplify, as one of my friends put it, CO2 is bad for the planet, that's global warming. NOx and particulates are bad for health, that's air quality. Traditionally, diesel engines produce more NOx and particulates, which affect health, whereas petrol engines emit more CO2, which affects the planet. Believe me when I say there's been a seismic shift in diesel technology since then. Indeed, in terms of emissions, the diesel cars that Land Rover produce today are comparable with our petrol engines. They are amongst the cleanest in the world. We are moving ever forwards, and we hope that this helps you move forwards in making a more rational decision over your engine choice. The choice between petrol and diesel remains a personal one, and depends on both financial factors, such as price and running costs, and lifestyle factors, such as frequency of use, duration, and the nature of journeys. So think about your type of driving and how the car fits into your daily life. Diesel cars are slightly more expensive than equivalent petrol versions. Diesel offers more torque. Its power is ideal for motorway driving, conquering off-road terrain, and towing. Diesel engines offer better miles per gallon, so it's the most cost-effective if you regularly drive long distances. Diesel engines produce up to 20% less CO2 than petrol, but thanks to advances in modern diesel engine design, have similar levels of NOx and particulate emissions. Diesel particulate filters, fitted in all our diesel engines, capture 99.9% .9 of all particles, while AdBlue dramatically reduces NOx emissions. Petrol cars are less expensive than their equivalent diesel counterparts. Petrol offers superb performance and a dynamic, more agile drive. It's ideal for lighter cars navigating urban streets and high-performance cars. It's more cost-effective if you tend to drive short distances. Petrol engines produce more CO2 than diesel, but comparable levels of NOx and particulate emissions. We, the car industry, recognise the vehicles we produce contribute to both air quality and global warming. But then, so do buses, trains, taxis, lorries and vans, shipping, construction, domestic heating, to name but a few. And we are improving. At Jaguar Land Rover, we're proud of our record in cutting emissions from our vehicles. 
Over the last decade, we've reduced CO2 by more than 25%, NOx by 84%, and particulates by 95%. By meeting new targets, continuing to invest in cleaner technologies such as our Ingenium engines, all electric vehicles, and ultimately heading towards zero emissions, we are literally inventing a cleaner future for everyone.